Welcome back to Sluzheim channel, today we will talk about the sniper tool, but before going deep into sniper tool, let's talk a little bit about reconnaissance, which is collecting information from openly available sources online, and more you get the information, more you will be able to test the target, of course that include IP addresses, online documents, metadata, email addresses and more. So it will take a lot of time to do all of these tests, so that's why we have Sniper tool which can automate this phase. Sniper is special because literally it's about 20 tools in one tool, so for port scanning Sniper can do it because it has a map, email addresses also can do it because it has the harvester, that's why it's recommended for red teamers. So for now we will try use it for passive and active information gathering. So if you didn't install sniper tool yet, you can go on sniper on github and take the link, copy and go here, do sudo stuff and get clone and the URL of sniper tool. I already downloaded so I don't need this phase. And after download it, you can go to the sniper folder. And after that, you have to execute the install.shell. I already did this step, so I don't need to do it. And once it's installed, you can use it by typing sniper in the command line. So right now, I wanna try get some information about github.com passively and actively which will communicate with the target by sending them scripts and will run some tools like Nikto, Whatweep, Nmap and others. I will use the command sniper-t github.com It will take a lot of time, so I will increase the speed of the video until it will finish. So after finishing the scan, Sniper tool will generate a report in the following path. First of all, we have to go to user, then to share, then to Sniper, then to loot, then to workspace. And here we have two files, I will go to the first one, then to reports, and after that it's scanned for port 80 and for port 443. So I will open the first one by Firefox, and here we have our report. So here we have nmap scanning, and here it made a web spider which brute forcing the directories that related to GitHub, our target. And here the URLs that Sniper could get from a Wayback Machine. Now we did active scan, so let's try to do it stealthy, which is without communicating directly with the target. So, if you go to the sniper site on GitHub, there is a mode in sniper modes called stealth mode, which made for passive scan. So, it will collect the information that are available on the internet. So I will use the same command but adding dash m which stands for model and the name of the model which is stealth. I will add also dash o 
which meaning OSINT scan, and dash RE, which stand for Enable Reconnaissance. So, all information we got is publicly available on internet, but just a sniper collecting them in one place. Again, it will take a lot of time, so I will increase the speed of the video to see the results. So again, to check the results, we can go to our folder here and go to www.github.com and to report. Here we have GitHub still. So I will open it with Firefox again. And here we have a lot of information that gathered about GitHub on the internet. So, thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video.